Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, this is going to be part two of our advanced laser aligning procedure. Now, one of the pieces, as I covered out in, in the last episode that I was going to do, is I loosened up the entire, all the mirrors, this mirror, the primary mirror, this whole gantry piece, because as you might recall, in the last episode, we were having movement, horizontal movement, actually some vertical movement, I'll talk about that in a minute. However, horizontal movement from here to here. So now that I've loosened up everything, and, and as I said, I squared it all up. Uh, well, I squared it all to itself. So in other words, as I mentioned, yeah, I took and I, I measured the bed out and I squared up the um, mirror because you saw how the mirror was, uh, uh, the primary mirror back here was adjusted to kind of compensate for the gantry being out of square. I, I kind of squared this one up. And uh, so anyways, now doing that, if you watch this beam here, so I, I, I've got it centered and I've centered this simply by moving this up and down so I can have a reference point. However, if I move it, I'm not sure how much of this is staying. Whoa, sorry about that. I tripped on the camera leg. So you can see as I move this, my horizontal movement is gone. So this is now spot on with regards to the optical train being in line. So this is a good thing. However, if you noticed in my last video, I mentioned something else that I discovered was um, not only run, but rise. And so if you can kind of see here, this black mark. So when I push it in, you can kind of watch the beam move down and it goes out of sight here, out of the camera, but the, the bottom piece is this, this uh, movement down here. So it goes like a quarter inch. This thing is, is a quarter inch out of tune in, in its level. I'm not sure if my hand is making it in the video. However, it, it, it's, it's a quarter inch out. So now I've loosened the bed up. If I lift the bed, the, the gantry, sorry, up, and I do this, now I've, I've moved it in reference, You'll see I get a little movement. It's still it's still not quite as much, but I, I actually need to lift this up probably over a quarter of an inch to make this bed optically level. Because as this is running out, as it's coming down here, it's running out of, uh, or as it's getting up here, if I, if I adjust the laser up here, when I get down here, I mean, that's far enough, it's gonna be hitting the top of this, this laser or this opening. So this is a long ways out in vertical terms. I mean, a good, like I say, I'm, I'm probably, well, I have a scale here and if I can put these glasses, um, so I am, 12.30 seconds, I'm reading this correctly, 12.30 seconds out. So I need to come up 12.30 seconds, and, and I've got, uh, um, I think, half-inch number eight screws in there. So if I pull up, and I've got them basically loosened to the top. But with this mark here, I now know I need to bring, I need to adjust this up, that mark. Let's see if I can get a little bit more on on this. There's a little bit more, so I have to go a little bit, but, but is if I'm pull, since I'm pulling this up, no, notice how that beam is not moving very little now that I've pulled this up. See, see that, how it's moving very little? As I get up here, it moves that last little bit down to that black mark up to the very front. So I know I need to come up on the back a little bit more. Uh, but this is an interesting discovery that the, um, that the mark, that, that the rise is so great. And I'm just trying to think if I have something. 
I'm not going to get overly scientific, but so I've now I've now stuck a shim in there because I want to be able to see if I can see this in the camera. Yeah, so you can see the beam moves a little bit because I'm zoomed way in. But really, there's very little movement in the beam now that I have this shimmed up. So I need to come up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, measure this. And I'm going to print some 3D, some, three, some shims on the 3D printer to actually just a, kind of like a long bar to go in here uh, on the various sides to lift this up. Uh, but this isn't something that, that I had anticipated um, and wanted to share this with folks. So uh, anyways, uh, stay tuned for, for part three because um, I think this is getting more interesting. Again, I didn't expect this, this as much vertical rise, but you can see here by shimming this up because the idea is, is the more we keep this dead centered and not moving at all to its, its reference points is the better off we will be uh, in getting total beam strength into this mirror and into the cutting surface. And I think this has been uh, actually part of my uh, cutting problem, if you will, especially switching to the, having the uh, 12, 12 millimeter mirror in the 18 holding. I, I think what's happening is, is the, the beam, if it's moving that much, it's moving past the lens, if you will. And so I'm just, it's cutting off the beam inside this assembly. So I, now I've ordered an 18 millimeter lens to go in here, which would be a good thing. However, if I get this to stay spot on, then, then I'm going to be golden with regards to even with the 12 millimeter mirror in here. Because um, I'm not sure what is the, the opening size is about, I think 24, 64s big is the, the opening size here. So um, it's a little bit bigger than my run, but um, I wish I had a millimeter scale because I don't know what that converts to in millimeters. But anyways, I think you get the idea as, as I'm concerned that this is moving off the lens with this run because as the run moves this way, the beam is going to move this way in the lens where, it, you know, the, the rod, hold it. The rise is going to move the beam this way, where the run is going to move the beam this way. I'm hoping, hoping that's showing. Can I see the head in the video? No, I can't see the head, so you can't see it. Sorry about that. So if I move this over here, basically what's going to happen is the rise is going to move the beam this way with regards to the mirror, and then the run is going to move the beam this way inside the mirror. So again, the idea is, is to get this as square as possible. Now, I'm actually pretty happy as square as I got it um, right now because, again, this, this is the movement I was getting before. So, I mean, huge. And, and again, part of it I accentuated. So, in reality, I probably had about a quarter inch here uh, of movement. That's still way too much. And so, again, just by squaring everything up, I've got it to here. So, hopefully this uh, helps. Give it a thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for part three. I'm going to print out some shins on the 3D printer, and we'll see what that looks like. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.